guess who is joining the cast of Falcon Crest? Look at this lovely young thing. Morgan Fairchild is her name, and we welcome you to 1011 and to Nebraska and Thank to Falcon you. Crest. Thank you. How did that come about? Why Did you watch that show before, Morgan? Well, I've watched it occasionally because I have friends on it. David Selby had done uh, Flamingo Road with me, and um, Bob Foxworth and I had worked together before uh, either of us were on these shows. And so, um, and they used to shoot very close to us on when we were doing Flamingo Road, so I knew people in the cast, you know, you'd visit back and forth. So I would watch it once in a while to see friends. And, uh, but I, I wasn't up to date. I, I wasn't real up to date. Uh, it yeah. sort of came about very suddenly. I was going to Europe on a Wednesday, and the week before, they called and offered me Falcon Crest, and I, I really didn't think the deal was going to work, and I knew they started shooting on Monday. And uh, Friday afternoon, I still hadn't heard anything back, and so I assumed that they, they had passed and gone on to someone else. And Monday afternoon, about 4 o'clock, the producer called and said, well, uh, we're giving you a 7 o'clock call for tomorrow morning. And I said, wait a minute, I don't have a contract or wardrobe or a script or anything. I can't shoot at 7 o'clock tomorrow morning. I have nothing to wear. So I said, well, how about 2 o'clock and we'll let you go shopping in the morning. Uh -huh. So that's what we did. <laughs> so it was sort of very last minute. I was leaving for Europe on Wednesday. The trip got canceled, and I started on Tuesday instead. Now you're going to be a lawyer, but a bright lawyer, a sharp lawyer. Yes, and a sharp dresser, and too. a sharp dresser. Yes. Pinstripe, pinstripe suits. Oh, no, boring, boring, boring. Oh, no, you mean you're going to be a, a flashy, flashy, a oh, flashy lawyer. I know, it, I know it, Morgan could be nothing other than flashing. Lawyers are a dime a dozen today, Miss Roberts. I've probably had at least 50 unsolicited calls from people like you. Why do you want to work for me? I'm a very successful attorney, Mr. Channing. I made my first million before I was 30, but um, things got a little dull. I felt like I needed a new challenge in my life. And you are definitely a challenge. I figure if I can bail you out of this mess, I can do just about anything. When we had the first creative meeting, the producer said to me that they weren't looking for a little three-piece suit, yeah. a little ribbon-tie kind of lawyer. They wanted somebody very sophisticated. She's supposed to be the daughter of a very famous uh, litigation attorney, a, a Melvin Belli type very flamboyant, and she is flamboyant in her own right, mm -hmm. and so, um, so I went that direction with it. You know what I found <laughs> in the library, believe it or not? Morgan Fairchild's Super Look. This, this was your first book, was it not? Yes. And Maybe you're... my last. I don't know. <laughs> well, I thought you were going to do another one on fashion. I may, I may. They keep talking to me about it, but this one took so long to write. <laughs> I don't know. It's hard to do when you're doing a series to mm -hmm. put the time into it. Morgan, when, when did you start to blossom? Because I saw a picture of you when you were age nine, and you were know that showed to up on home uh, to mother about. Showed I'll tell up on you. People magazine. I tell you, I, everybody in the audience should have their fourth grade pictures come back to haunt them. I mean, <laughs> on the cover of People magazine, that was oh, it was a shock. No, well, when, were you a really a pretty baby? No. Well, I was not bad. I was just very, very um, sort of quasi albino. I mean, I'm just I'm very white. And uh, the little white hair and the white eyelashes, and, and, um, and nothing works. I'm hard of hearing, and I'm blind as a bat, and uh, all of that. So uh, I had the big, thick glasses. Mm -hmm. And um, uh, it's kind of funny, because if you look at the fourth grade picture, all the features are there. It just took sort of growing up and losing the baby fat and pulling it all together mm -hmm. to make it all mm -hmm. work. Well, in this book, she has you do exercises, you see, for like for your face. So now if I were to do these exercises, then I could look like her, right? Okay, let's do the exercises for our tongues. You have one for the tongue? No, that's not for your tongue. What is it for? It's for these muscles here. Okay, that's what do what I have for. to do? What do I have to do? Well, you have to tighten all these muscles, and it helps if you stick your tongue out. But uh, oh, yeah. uh, am I starting to look like her? <laughs> <laughs> Uh, but it's well, for these muscles. Actually, your tongue probably doesn't need that much strengthening. <laughs> <laughs> I do have probably a Probably sufficient on its own. You know, <laughs> <laughs> okay, I don't need to work on my tongue. I need to work on everything else. No. <laughs> Are you still going with Mr. Denault? Is that his yes, name? Yes, I am. Craig? Uh -huh. Uh, I heard that <laughs> he, he was the, her boyfriend is the cameraman for Purple Rain, was the cameraman on Purple Rain, and that he watched you in a love scene do a love scene with somebody else, and he said, never again. I will well, never Well, we watch met on the set of Flamingo Road, yeah. because he came in to fill in for, for our camera operator, who was gone for a few days. 
and, uh, and had to photograph me doing love scenes with everyone, the way they scattered me around on that show. And so uh, uh, he didn't enjoy having yeah. to sit there watching through the lens all these tight close-ups of me having love scenes with it. So he said the only time we'd ever work together again is if I play a nun. <laughs> so I'm okay. looking for that. You're going to get into the habit of playing a nun. Yes, <laughs> yes, I'll, I'll play a nun next. Well, listen, Morgan Fairchild, welcome to the cast of Ralph and Breast. Thank you're you. You're a beautiful woman. Well, beautiful. thank you. What a play. You're so frail, though. You're so little. I'm you're just so a little tiny. wimpy blonde. How much do you weigh? About 105. And how tall are you? Five, four. We all have to lose weight and work on all her exercises. And if we read her book, it might help. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. Real pleasure. Please stay tuned. There's a lot more to come as the morning show continues. <laughs>